Good day, good day! <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O. And Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. And I got a one of question for you. A couple of weeks ago, a week ago, I don't know. In another video, in another video, in another time, I did a um, video. And um, it was the oldest Land Rover model, toy model ever made. What is it? And uh, not very big response on that, but that's all right. But um, anyway, I had these cars out. And I think, you know, my opinion, this one's got a broke, broke leg, just to let you know. Um, these, I think, are some of the oldest Land Rover toys uh, out there. And I, uh, I've got two of them here. And I, I, matter of fact, these are the only two that I have of this type. And then I have this other type. And you're asking, well, what type, Dan? They're both the same. And that is correct. Um, and we're going to give my camera a test of its true grit here. Land Rover Series 2, made in England by Lesney. This is a number, number 12. Same kind of uh, thing going on here as far as the base. It's a dog ear tab in the front, and it is a rivet in the back. Same kind of bent over dog ears on the uh, for the axles. Um, each one of them. Then they run the um, solid steel axle through there, and uh, yeah, it's very 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 nice. All right, so we're going to uh, take a look at, in particular, because, um, like I said, these are exactly the same, per se. But like I said, when I was doing the uh, video the other day, I did notice um, something a little different. And uh, we're going to take a look at that today. It has to do with, and it will not stay focused, uh, it has to do with the wheels. These are traditionally the uh, land, uh, the Lesney old wheels, the uh, plastic black wheels. Um, what I want you to uh, be mindful of here is uh, this, uh, this like center hub here, uh, right, right in here. This piece right here uh, that goes. Uh, with the axle that goes through it. Um, it's different on these other ones. The other thing is, um, they're not the same, they're not the same size. So I've got my uh, handy dandy uh, micrometer here and uh, we're gonna just measure these here real quick and uh, show you that these are not the same uh, wheels that uh, they all have. All right, so these are measuring at uh, 11.4 millimeters. And that's kind of the standard uh, size for those, uh, you know, series to the uh, number 12. Now, if you can notice, oh, I can't get it to not do that. Come on, let's do that while we're doing that. And if we can put that on there, you can see that there is quite a gap there if I get my big thumb out of the way for these other wheels and I believe they're older wheels so 11.4 let's zoom it in here whoops the other way 10.8 is actual size of this other wheel type and so we're going to take a little closer look here you can see that they are different and as you noticed that center hub part is longer or a deep dish uh, length there, a little bit, little bit longer here. Oh, this thing is just not gonna wanna to cooperate. So here we go, we're gonna look at this one right here. So if you look at this fluked part right there, you can tell that that is much longer than this shallower, newer one, I should say. Can you see that? See how different that is? I find that curious, very curious. And then as well, 
you can notice that the older tires, I'm going to call them older tires till somebody tells me different down in the comments. You can see that they have more of a uh, different tread pattern. You can see that they have a different tread pattern. It's more knobs than the other ones, which are more of a tread look to them. Yeah, see that? So what do you think? Is this a older toy with the, um, I don't know why they would change them, but with uh, smaller, more unique wheels? Uh, was this, uh, you know, did they use these, um, you know, this cast, die cast, uh, the, the mold for other ones that were steel. And then when they went to plastic and then they found out that these plastic ones weren't holding up as well like this. And so therefore they went with this hardier, bigger tire or did this bigger tire I mean, they fit the wheel wells just as good. Or is this bigger tire a more um, uh, uniform uh, tire that they could fit on more models? Uh, you know, this this one was, you know, this is kind of small. You can see right through the uh, body work where this one is, you know, it, it's not quite as pronounced because obviously it's bigger, you know. So, you know, did they, you know, hey. Hey guys, <laughs> wake up, you're falling asleep during my video. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Uh, one of here, one of question of the century. I wanna know, are, they, are these, you know, you guys over there across the pond, uh, you uh, well-learned uh, matchbox guys here in the States, are, they, are is this an old one? Do, I mean, is this, what's up with these wheels? I wanna know. Um, yeah, very interesting. All right, well there, there you go. <laughs> uh, I was I, the story is I was going to take the wheels off this one and uh, put uh, you know more wheels on it, but this one has uh, you know uh, different unique wheels on it, so I'm I'm not apt to um, uh, taking the wheels off uh, unless I can find other wheels, which all the other cars that I have of this. Um, have, have the traditional, um, bigger wheels like this one. And then two of this one, I really, boy, somebody really painted that really well. And I don't know if that's original or if that's, you know, custom afterwards, but I find it really fascinating. And it's a, it's a one of Wednesday question. What is going on with these one of wheels here? Is this, uh. Was it one year? Was this like the first year that these put out? Um, I'd like to know. I, I, there's not much to be said about these. Uh, I would think that there would be some, uh, there would be some um, records or something of uh, what's going on with these wheels. Uh, if you guys know, please let me know uh, down below in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, come on over to Facebook to uh, Roverland channel and see what's going on over there and uh, drop a comment, drop a picture of your uh, series number 12. This is a, uh, no, yes, this is a number 12A, the number two, the series number two and uh, Land Rover. So let me know what you guys think, all right? All right, yeah, come on over to Facebook, Roverland and uh, yeah, let's, let's flash that one more time. Roverland <laughs> and uh, Instagram, Roverland channel. Talk to me over there. Come on over to uh, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a big hello and a like and a comment there. Subscribe, man. Yeah, we need some more subscribers for our channel here and Roverland. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just love it. Going to have a... A glow by. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing, huh? Oh, yeah, what was that? <laughs> Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you uh, comment, hit that like, subscribe button, and the notification button. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.